hopefully I will start my ride uh, through the United States uh, tomorrow or the day after that and today I take it easy I will uh, sight uh, Washington DC with the light bicycles the bags are in the hotel so Washington DC and right behind me you can see the flag there's a lady called Sofia supporting Ukraine almost every day let's have a chat do you have relative in Ukraine yourself no I'm, my people are from Greece oh I, I see. support Ukraine yeah um, because my husband was a prisoner of war you, okay, my husband was a prisoner of war and it um, has been you mean yeah he has, he's uh -huh. gone now but uh -huh. yeah, yeah. my daughter is a journalist for oh the I, see, I see so I mm -hmm. I hear so much about Ukraine and, yeah I know, see and I feel that it wasn't a war I feel yeah. it's genocide yeah and I, I just feel really bad that are you here every day no probably not uh, mostly every day I see day. Uh -huh. I come here I depends on the weather depends on the weather yeah okay. and today it is becoming pretty hot it, it will be hot today yeah, by tomorrow the weekend comes. by the weekend my name is Sofia Sofia oh my name is Vladi Vladi like oh. yeah it's like Vladimir oh, okay. but, and I'm Italian but there is no uh, connection my, whatsoever my, with Russia my father or... grew up in Italy oh I see they come from Athens oh. you know way back okay 40s are you very familiar with the area? I, yeah, I'm very familiar. If, if you go down over the bridge, you go into Roslyn, and then yeah. you walk up to Roslyn uh, into Boston, you'll hit every town just about. Here, yeah. if you go in this direction, you're hitting Washington. Yeah, and you mean by Washington, you mean the capital, yeah, yeah, the White House, right. and, yeah. and so on. Yeah, this is what I want to do like today just sightseeing and tomorrow I will take the the trail yeah. that goes up to you can hit mostly by the river and then it goes eventually up to Pittsburgh but that's yeah. far away I know but so where do but, you live right now that's the goal. right now in Arlington okay hotel okay yeah I, I just crossed the, the bridge and I'm visiting yeah. I'm sightseeing <laughs> awareness yeah absolutely you know, I, Americans have to be concerned because we don't know what Putin's next step is you know we are stepping uh, in now helping the Ukraine but you know what probably there is not gonna be another okay we don't know but probably because of this tough resistance probably there is not gonna be another step because probably maybe Putin cannot afford it but who knows but we, we wish that he yeah. cannot afford it the thing is um, he threatened us that if we we are part of Ukraine, you know, we're we're up for Oh country. yeah, and but I the same I in also Europe. hear that he had surgery a week ago when they had the parade, and I think he's got stomach there are cancer. Many rumors, but uh, of course, it is very difficult to to hear the truth from Russia at you the won't, moment. You won't. Yeah, exactly. So rumors, just rumors. Okay, I don't know how it's going to be the audio here, but thank you for the encounter the speech and the support you're giving to ukraine because i also do it but but i do it online you know yeah. okay so thank you and so sometimes much sometimes you have to get out there and let people know that <laughs> yeah. you know there is a war and we want to stop it yeah i know you know and probably it, you know it, it it wasn't really a war it was genocide you know they went in and killed children mothers, yeah yeah just babies, anybody you know, that, yeah yeah well that it wasn't like world war ii I think no, 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 exactly. There are no armies fighting each other. There is one invading the other. Yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah, it, it is absolutely, it is it's not, not like acceptable. It not is like not acceptable army, today. Know? And, you know, and we see it all on TV. You know, now they got the guys out of the steel mill. But, you know, yeah. a lot of those people are very, very sick. You know, being in there for two months. But of course. You know, and they've lost limbs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And we still got to continue to support them. Yep. You know, uh, I have a friend of mine that's going over there. She's in the army. She's going over there to help the uh, aid, you know, of the, yeah. the hospitals and stuff that they need to feed the children. Yeah, you know, yeah. And just, I support Ukraine. I, money comes out of my account for them. 
So I try to support them as much as I yeah. can. Thank you for your words. I have to quit. Thanks so yeah, much. thank you so much. Gravel trail toward the Capitol Hill. I'm gonna have a lot of gravel in the following days. <laughs> the streets are full of spray marks, probably construction works, but it looks like art, isn't it? This is Georgetown, it's so far one of the most interesting places in, um, in Washington DC. Not that I've been a lot. I mean, I've been, <laughs> what, like 12 hours in Washington, but so far, the best area. This is like the center of Georgetown with its uh, main street called Evacuation, Evacuation Route or Route. Ah, uh, that is not the name. The name is like M Street. Ooh. It's not evacuation. It would have been a funny name. Well, it's a long, long road with uh, restaurants and shops and boutique in general that are um, finally something very different from uh, downtown uh, Washington, which is mainly offices and institutions. And uh, here there is also some alternative tourism by the canal. <laughs> 